Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Jackson, but you guys can call me Miss Renee. I'm the children's librarian here at the DeSoto Parish Library Pelican Branch, and I'm so excited to welcome you guys to our very first virtual summer reading program. Now, what that means is that you guys can get on your laptops, your phones, tablets, or even your desktop computers and join me every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m., where you can come on and join me for some fun story times, some cool crafts. We have a wild virtual field trip that we're going to do, and then a yummy cooking class. So we are in for some fun. Now, our program is going to run from June 15th through July 17th. So what I want you guys to do is on Fridays, I want you to log on to the um, Pelican Branch Library's Facebook page, where you'll see a post from me. I'll tell you about our upcoming crafts activities, and I'll have a supply list of what you guys will need so you'll be prepared and we'll be good to go. So now, what I also want you to do is because we also know the summer reading program is about fun, but it's also about reading. Because I'm going to give you a little secret. The quickest way to adventure is through the pages of a book. So, if you guys read 15 books or more, I'm going to have a cool certificate waiting for you at the end of the program. So, I want you guys to fire up those imaginations. Let's get going and let's have some fun. I look forward to seeing you. Hey guys, glad that you joined me today. Today we're in for a special yummy treat. So, our story time today, catch that cookie. So, I'm pretty sure you've guessed now that I will, um, craft. It's not really going to be a craft, but we're going to do a virtual cooking class. We're going to make us a yummy dessert as soon as we get through story time. So, Catch That Cookie by Hallie Duran. They're doing story time like us. It was December and Marshall's class had heard stories about runaway gingerbread men all week long. Marshall didn't believe a word of it. They can't run for real, he told everybody. No way. Hope you're right, Miss Gray said, because we're baking ours today. Marshall gave a nod. He knew he was right. That afternoon, Marshall and his friends poured in the flour, sugar, and some dark, sticky stuff. That's molasses, Marshall told them. Marshall was the mixer, and even when his arms got tired, he kept going with the dough. He couldn't wait to get his cookie. Kudos, Marsh, said Miss Gray. You rocked that dough. Marshall gave another. He knew he rocked it. Marshall put some good stuff on his gingerbread man. A silver ball belt and six eyes. He really liked raisins. His cookie was looking tasty. Miss Gray double-checked the oven door once the gingerbread men were safely inside. Locked, she said. When the timer finally went off, Miss Gray said to Marshall, fearless leader, take us to the kitchen. But when they looked in the oven, there was nothing inside. They ran away, everybody yelled. Let's get them. Marshall didn't buy it. They left us a clue, said Miss Gray. If you can find us, we'll be your snack. But if you can't, we're never coming back. We ran from the oven, and we're bored and hot. And now we're hiding in a big black. Henry jumped up. Pot, pot, the big black pot. Inside was another note. Too bad you didn't catch us because we taste like candy. Now we're on vacation on a beach that's... Sandy yelled everybody, the sand table. They all started running, everybody but Marshall. He turned that pot over and ran his hand around the inside. He felt something soft and small, a raisin. Marshall put it right in his pocket. At the sand table, Miss Gray read the next note. Whoa, she said, bad handwriting. You didn't find us this time. And a hee hee ho. You thought we might be slow. Because we're only made of dough. We're very fast cookies. And we also like to brag. See if you can find us. We'll be playing. 
tag, said Avery. They can't run, said Marshall. Can so, said Avery. Let's go, said Miss Gray. Everybody ran to the gym. Well, everybody but Marshall. Can I see that clue? He asked. The writing was bad. No way it was Miss Gray's. The next clue was on the bleachers. We've had a great time, and we haven't made a mess. We're very impressed that you're trying your best. If you don't find us this time, the game's all done. You will have lost, and the G-men will have won. That's not a clue, said Henry. They were stuck, they were hungry, and they wanted to win. Everybody huddled. But Marshall sat down, considering the evidence, the raisin in his pocket, and the bad handwriting. What if the G-men could run? That's when he saw the silver ball on the gym floor. There was only one place it could have come from. Then he saw the footprints. They were gingerbread footprints, hundreds of them. Marshall didn't make a sound. Those guys played hard, he thought. They've got to be tired. That was it. They're taking a nap, Marshall hollered. Everyone searched in the bleachers and under the mats. No look. Had the G-men worn? If I needed a nap, thought Marshall, I'd go to bed. They're in the dog corner, he yelled. Marshall led the way this time. And there were the little gingerbread men, sound asleep in the doll bed. Marshall's guy was right there in the middle, minus an eye and a ball from his belt. He must have been the ring leader. Everyone cheered. They had caught the G-men. Marshall gave his cookie back his eye. You really can, Room, he said. Good sleuthing, said Miss Gray. Marshall gave a nod. He knew he had good sleuthing, whatever that was. When Marshall's dad came to pick him up, Marshall kept his G-man close. Dad, Marshall said once they were in the car, yeah, bud, lock the doors. Why is that, said his dad. So my cookie can't get out, said Marshall. They can run for real, you know. His dad gave a nod. He knew they could run. And that's everybody outside trying to catch their cookies before they get in the car to go home. <laughs> the end. So guys, we just finished our book. So now we're going to move into the kitchen so we can fix our yummy dessert. All right, guys, we finished our story time, so now it's time to make our yummy dessert. But first things first, you got to wash your hands. So I want everybody to make sure you do a real good job of washing your hands before we go into the kitchen to cook our dessert. Right now, after we finish washing our hands, we're going to move into the kitchen and I'll let you guys know what you need to make sure you have everything for our dessert. Let's go. All right. Today we are going to make Oreo Delight. Now, the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a regular pack of Oreo cookies. And you're going to need to crumble them up so you guys can get a chance to see. But we had a lot of fun beating up those Oreos. So either you can get your parents to help you use a food processor or you can just beat them up. Just as long as they're crumbled, that's all you need. But once you crumble your Oreos, you're going to need to put some in one cup and set them to the sides. We're going to use those later. So now in with our... Oreos, you need three-fourths stick melted butter. So we got our melted butter in here. You can use the microwave for that. You're going to need your Cool Whip, two containers of Cool Whip, so we have the ready whip here. Your um, cream cheese softened, 
which we got right here, Philadelphia cream cheese, softened and ready to go. Got your powdered sugar. You're going to need one cup of that, confectioner sugar. Your um, one large package of instant pudding. And our chocolate instant pudding is in the fridge, getting good and ready so we can add it when it's time. You're going to need two three-fourth cups of milk, the large bowl that we have here so we can get to make mixing, and a pan to put everything in, and we're good to go. So right now we got our Oreos in here all crumbled. Thanks to Miss Carol, we had fun beating up those Oreos, y'all. So, we're going to put in our melted butter with our Oreos. Your melted butter. We're going to mix that. And this is going to be our crust. So once we get that all good and mixed in, we're going to put it in the bottom of our pan. Ready whip in there. Y'all think that's enough? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <not a> bit more. <laughs> and we need one cup of sugar. Again, let's try not to make a mess. Parents, if they do, I'm sorry. But once you taste the dessert, it'll be okay. You'll forgive them.
you guys are like me and love Oreos, you cannot wait to get into this. Okay, now after we get... Alright, so now guys, what you want to do before you put your cookies on top is we are going to get the spoon and spread our pudding on top of the layer that we just put on. So take your chocolate pudding out of the fridge. And we are going to layer that on top of our sugar and cream cheese mix that we just put on. So now we're going to add the chocolate Pudding smells so good. Now, once we get this on, um, now we want to add our other cookie crumbs on the top and we're going to set it in the fridge and let it chill and we're going to have us a nice dessert when it's over. If you want to use the rest of the cookie crumbs that you have left to go on the top, you can. Or if you want to enjoy them and just eat them up, you can do that also. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put this in the fridge, let it chill, and guys, you're going to have a yummy, yummy dessert when you take it out. And that's it. We have made Oreo Delight. We did our great story time. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you tuning in with me every Tuesday. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Have a great day.